Welcome to the Shulamite Podcast, an extension of Shulamite Ministries and Shulamite.com, with weekly interviews and teaching with author and speaker Martha Kilpatrick and hosted by John Enslow. This weekly podcast is a way to stay connected to the ministry. So come experience anointed messages, not giving just another method, but a living impartation. Yesterday we had a, a podcast, and this morning I think we have another one. And yesterday I realized that I am crucified with Christ and I no longer live. And the life I now live, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. And that means I don't have to face this crisis. Jesus in me and Jesus in you will face it, deal with it in our um, body. Jesus has come to live in our body. And he is to live the life that he's assigned us to live. Not I but Christ. So yes, uh, yesterday I, I didn't say that. But I'm not involved in the crisis. He is involved, deeply involved, and his prayer will come through me, and his life shall face it in my life, in my circumstance. I'm not involved. That's our liberty. I'm going to be fascinated to watch him and hear him in this vessel. So I'm not involved. The me of the flesh is dead. Jesus lives my life for me instead of me, and he is present within me. So that's a hard thing to believe. Do you have anything from your manuscript, John? John's finished the manuscript on the exchange life. I don't have anything in particular to read, but I did, when I was uh, sitting there and I was thinking about what you were saying yesterday, um, it you know, I have some stuff on sovereignty, and both both books were working. Both books at really kind of the same time. We're both going to release them real close. Um, we're just waiting for the final editing of it, and then uh, get it printed. Um, and and during this time, it may be a little more difficult to print because uh, if they don't have s- staff that's there, um, this is something that's not going to be critical. Uh, food, medicine, whatever. So um, it may be a delay in it, but uh, we, we're going to have it ready to go right when this is over, which it will be over. But I'm looking forward to the adventure of of the exchange life of of seeing Christ do this. Um, that's an adventure. That that takes the fear out of it because I'm saying I'm going to see who He is during this time, and. Um, and 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 yesterday I can I can say a little bit about the sovereignty issue. When I thought about it, I said, "Who would have thought two months ago, even a month ago, that that he would shut down everything, that he would shut down all uh, sports events, all concerts, restaurants, that he would put us all in the house, that we would all be in the house, and uh, nobody would have thought that would have happened." You know, I mean, unless you know Notre Dame, you know, I guess. <laughs> but regardless, um, in seeing the overarching, overreaching, and hugeness of the entire thing, it, it's only God that could have done this. This is sovereign. And we watched yesterday Jensen Franklin. Mm-hmm. On America's News, yeah, America's uh, Voice uh, dot news. That I was amazed that this news organization um, was having uh, prayer. They were having worship. They were having communion. I mean, I'm I'm thinking, okay, what's the likelihood of that? What's the likelihood of that happening? And uh, you know, there, there's some people on there that I may not uh, personally align with or believe. Um, but, but the fact is, is it, it, like Paul, I said to you yesterday, like Paul said, the gospel is being preached. Who cares? Shut up. <laughs> you know? Um, and that's kind of how I, I saw it. I said, you know, wow, the, you know, God, you are doing something so dynamic here that you are, I mean, this has never been done in our country. That you just shut it down. That we're not going to meet. We're not going to. We're not going to go out. We're not going to go, you know, gallivanting around and vacationing. Blah 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 blah. Whatever. It, none of it. It's over. Um, 
and uh, I, I'm, I'm shocked at it. But but the the shock is how sovereign it is, how perfect it is, and how we're being taken through this for a deeper purpose. And that's what I'm looking for is the deeper purpose. And uh, so anyway, uh, I have. I did a series, and I've been led back to it because I've been marking my Bible with every place where it says let, L-E-T. And it's let Christ handle this. He's Lord. He's powerful. He will tell us what to ask for. And, and for my need and your need, Christ is all I need. He's my health. He's my joy. He's my master. He's my truth. He's my everything everything and so uh, this morning early the Lord said call Joan and tell her to come now to call now she has the message of the day <laughs> so I I did text her and say call me now and of course she took the word now very literally <laughs> and called me as she was supposed to do but that's what the Lord said and then she began to share with me her insights and I thought oh my does she have the message of the hour so I turn it over to Joan and bless her and I've already asked the Holy Spirit to be as brilliant as he was on the phone and, and he in you is so here's Joan Winsel. Well, I'm on a, this was nothing uh, special of my reading this morning. I'm on a Bible reading plan, and I was just, my reading this morning was Deuteronomy 6 through 9. And I had read Deuteronomy 6 this weekend and spent some time in there, but then I went on to 7 and 8 and was not quite into 9 when Martha called me this morning, so I will preface with that. Uh, but I just have uh, done this plan for a couple of years, and the first time I read through the Old Testament, I was so acutely aware of Israel's unfaithfulness to God. And this time, as I'm reading, I'm amazingly aware of his faithfulness. I'm not seeing the, the Jews' unfaithfulness because I am an unfaithful woman. And so, uh, and I, I very much resonated with Israel's responses and their sins and their troubles because of it. But I saw in uh, Deuteronomy 6, God lays the foundation, which is the same foundation for us, which is love. You must love him with all your heart and mind and soul and your entire being. He wants, he wants everything, all the love. And that's the establishing of the relationship with Israel as well as us. And it is just the most... This morning I saw a beautiful tapestry of God's faithfulness, the tapestry of relationship and his unfailing love and commitment. And I feel like the same that was true for them is true for us. And if you are willing to just go through, uh, I think it would be is such an encouragement to see that God had purpose in everything. Uh, he had, and he was faithful. Everything he asked them to do, he said, I'm asking you to go in and possess the land that I have given. I have already gone before and given. I am going before and I am going to dispossess the nations. I'm asking you to be willing to go in, but I'm going to do everything. And I love it because it's, um, and having gone to Israel, and I have a, a, a wonderful Jewish son-in-law who I just love. They're gutty people. They're not, uh, they're not surface people. They're gutty. They have heart reactions and heart responses. And, and I love that about the Old Testament. It's down where we all live. It's just... In real life and this is just a picture of all that God will do and how quickly we forget how we we in this age of grace believe him to do everything but kind of forget that he has things that he's called us to do not in our own power never in our own strength but Christ in us is the faith and the faithfulness of our lives and Israel, he tells us in 1 Corinthians 10, 11, that Israel is our example, and they're our warning, be because we are Israel. Israel is us, because we are human, and we are dust, and we're as frail as they are, and we think the same things as they do, because <laughs> in this, I love it, because uh, the Lord says, now, when you get into the land, and you're full, and you're prosperous, you're going to think your own power did this. 
and I'm going to make it clear to you <laughs> <laughs> now <laughs> that it's not your power, it's mine. And then you'll go on, and, and I even went into verse, um, into chapter 9 a little bit, and the Israel then goes on, and just like us, then they think God's blessing them because they're righteous. And he has to make it clear that we're not righteous. And, and what I see is he calls us to obedience, but the foundation for that obedience is loving him. Everything, he establishes the entire foundation of love, and out of loving him, everything else flows. Because by loving him, he is able to impart Christ to us, impart the love that is the foundation for obedience and for receiving the discipline and instruction that we must have. We absolutely must have. And all the discipline and instruction, he's clear in here what that's for, too. He says it's so that we will uh, walk in his ways, we will obey, and we will fear him. All the same things that he requires of us today. He asked Israel for the difference is we have the Holy Spirit and Christ living in us. Israel had the living presence of God, the cloud by day, the pillar of fire by night. Um, Christ, I believe, was was the presence with them. And God, the Father, with sovereignty, fed them, clothed them, gave them everything, but then said, but you are mine. I chose you. You're my people. Not because you're wonderful or grand, you're small, and you're kind of a little bit of nothing, just like us, but I chose you to be mine. And it's just the most beautiful, beautiful picture if you're willing, and I would encourage you to go in and uh, underline everything that God said he would do, because he was willing to do all for them. And I feel like the real instruction is for us, for me personally, is to be willing and say yes to his yes that has already gone before me in my life. I think I'll call her and say, okay, <laughs> the Lord says more. <laughs> That's wonderful, John. We hope you've enjoyed the Shulamite podcast. For all the latest from Shulamite Ministries, please visit us at shulamite.com, where you'll find Martha's daily devotions, posts from getalongwithgod.com, and the online library of all of Martha's writings. At Shulamite.com, downloading the free Shulamite app is easy, and livingchristianbooks.com is only a click away. Thank you for joining us on this journey to discover a God worth knowing.